Uh, I just saw a commercial, by the way, like right before we hopped on. It really made me mad. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. It was a GMC truck commercial. And it starts with like a husband and wife and like a fucking they're in the wilderness in the snow for no fucking reason, first of all. And he like whistles and a little puppy comes out of nowhere. Like the puppy just runs up to the girl. He's like, oh, like Merry Christmas or whatever. And then she whistles and like a fucking pickup truck comes from out of nowhere by it's driving itself. And she's like, I got you something, too. And it just really made me mad because, first of all, the puppy would never listen. It's not an obedient puppy. And they're out in the middle of the snow. Makes no sense. And the the, the truck it, it drove itself. It doesn't make any sense. It was a really stupid commercial. I just wanted to get it off my chest. They have no. Just... They have those self driving cars now, Max. Pay attention. Yeah, but I don't think GMC does. It also kind of just sounds like you had a traumatic like Christmas experience when you were younger. Dude, I was going to say the exact thing. Like you're all pissed off. Everybody. Or the fact that Christmas. you're Jewish and you don't celebrate Christmas. Everything so about it just triggers you. It was more of a, like I saw a tweet the other day. Someone said. Uh, has anyone actually given their like spouse a car and drive it wrapped <laughs> in a bow? Because like you see it on all the commercials, but does anyone actually do that? No. Yeah, I've seen it once. Hundred yeah. percent people do that, but you got to be like hella fucking rich to just give somebody a car, brand new car with the ribbon. Well, I mean, you can get them like a Hyundai. Dude, I like, want a Hyundai. Shape. Yeah, I'd be fucking pissed if like my significant other was like, I got you a car and you walked outside and it was just like a car that didn't really hit, and you're like, oh, this is like. Like you just drop like I there's so many other ways I'd rather you would spend 15k on me, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. There's there's actually one that was pretty popular where like I think it's still on now where the the lady or the guy comes out and he has the lady, the two cars, like yeah, the pickup and the one. other one. Mm -hmm. She's like one. I love it, but like yeah. why would he display his own car? Mm -hmm. Yeah, know, he's like, like why, I got me Why a would she have that oh, choice? I, I don't know. But yeah, I've seen I've seen it before. If you were in that situation and your significant other like really wanted the car that you got, what, what would you do? Bitch, I just bought both these cars. I'm taking that. Yeah, out. I'd be like, whoa, bitch, that's my car. <laughs> neither you would. Another, yeah, neither no. you guys would nut the fuck up at all. Yeah, yeah I mean, no. I'm not buying. That's why one. we don't have. That's why we don't have girlfriends. You know. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> this is the saddest fucking video of all time. <laughs> that's the only reason. I'm actually wait. I'm actually going out on a date in like three hours. And this oh, girl shit. just this girl just texted me. And she goes, "Are we all set for tonight? Should I do my hair?" Like, oh, bitch, what do you mean? Should yeah, you do your like, hair? what are you gonna come looking like? Yeah, of tell her to shave your her. hair. Say shave your head. <laughs> shave, shave your dude. You know what? I actually low key think one of the hottest looks in the world. If a girl can pull it off, don't not say, shave, not don't fully shaved head, don't say not it. not fully shaved, but like if the girl has long hair and then she shaves like one, just one side of it, like fully shaved down. That's to the, the side. Uh, the porn star. That's uh, that's what does it for you. Yeah. Uh. Well, I've never actually like closed on a girl that I don't know if I've ever actually in person seen someone, but there's a lot of celebrities that do it. Yeah. That one porn star that got beat up a while ago. Christy Mac, bro. Yeah. Christy Mac. But she had but she had like more like a uh, Peaky Blinders, like she shaved both, both sides <laughs> kind of shit. I'm, I'm talking about like uh, there was a really hot black chick that uh, Puff Daddy dated for a while that pulled this off really, really well. And uh, and maybe I'm just like naming the single hottest person on the planet. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, of cool. course, of course, it looks fucking good with her. But I mean, well, we'll just have to take the half shave head thing like situation by situation. I so, can't like that's not a general <laughs> statement. Maybe like here. Yes, here. Yes. But like, I it's not it's, a generality that it's not. So you're, saying, half shaved head. So, so you're saying I should tell her to shave her head before, <laughs> before today. half of your head. Tell her to shave <laughs> half her head. <laughs> yeah. And then All right, wait, is, have you ever met her? Or are you like going to sit in a restaurant with like one red rose and you're like, we're oh, gonna, that guy? We're no, I mean, we're going to get we're going to get drinks tonight. I don't know why okay. she like asked me if she should do her hair. I'm like, I don't know. Like, fucking, should I do my hair? I'm debating yeah, whether, like, or not I, are, whether or not I should shower. I haven't showered in like two days. I've been, you know, we up. call that right? Not you showering, her asking. That's a red flag. Mm, damn, Steve. I never thought that's I'd be a red, a red I'm flag sorry, but that's a red flag. Like asking me if you should comb your hair. Yeah, tell her to wear a fucking evening gown. <laughs> Tell her to get dressed up to the nine. Say you're going to take her on a wild New York City ride. All right, fuck it. We're live streaming this date tonight. Uh, speaking of, wait, Animal, you're that coming Sunday. Cool. Steve, are you coming Sunday too for stream? What's going on Sunday? We're going to just Yeah, I know stream. you guys like to pretend you invite me places and then tell me how cool it was a day after. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like the least fact. We were supposed to be doing like the stream for, yeah. for three days already. Uh, but I know, actually. Because this is, the, this is the biggest week in the history of the E-Town Get Down Animal was coming into the HQ on Sunday, and we were going to live stream for the games. Just like hang out here. Yeah, I'm down. I don't believe you at all, but okay. I have a question right. though. What what's your TV watching situation? I'm used to five TVs. I used to, I go places that have five TVs. Uh, we have well, considering there's only going to be like two games played on Sunday now, it doesn't really matter. We'll have one of them playing on the TV. Okay, so you're you're a single TV guy. That's all I have is one single TV. Yes. Wow, I thought I thought you were doing well for yourself. 
<laughs> or not. We tried the three TV approach in my last, and, and then we ended up three TVs. Two we had three TVs, one. yeah, and then one of them it just kept locking me out and being like, "You can't be logged in on YouTube TV and more than one TV, so you can't fucking watch anything." Can we like bring a laptop to put? Do you have Red Zone? Or are we literally stuck watching my, CBS? What do you think? I'm fucking. I'm fucking snacks. I only allow you to watch <laughs> one game. <laughs> Well, I don't know. What do you do? Do you even have Red I Zone? Watch, I watch Red... Yeah, of course we watch Red Zone. And yes, Steve, you're allowed to fucking bring a laptop. Okay. You weirdo. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Regardless, I, it's it's a big day. We need we need to make this happen. It's a huge day. Honestly, I, I consider this the first week of the playoffs. So you're saying I'm in the dance. Well, so yeah, let's give... You're, a in, the, you're in the dance. Let's give a little right. background. This matchup right now is... I, I just want to let me go off for like three or five minutes right now. Yeah, okay. I figured that, before, I figured this this whole rant was coming. Let's before go you on. start, I just want to lay out a little. So right now it's Steve and I are if we win, we're in in the playoffs. We have to win our matchup. Steve is playing Nick and yeah. I am playing Snacks. Playoffs have win not started and yet. In. Ten yeah. team league, so only four teams get in the playoffs. Our playoffs start week sixteen and seventeen. However. Like I think eighth place, ninth place are like six and eight, which can tell you, which tells you how competitive the league is. Basically, there's still multiple spots up for grabs this last week, and we're all playing each other, and it fucking it matters. And it, it's what, pretty see? crazy. I was in like first place. I lost like one game. Well, I went on a little losing streak, but I lost one game, and I dropped like four spots. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous. You know, like that's man. how tight it is. I didn't realize how tight it was until this past week. I was in second. And I was like, if I lose, I'm in trouble. I lost two games in a row, and I went to seventh. There's no margin for error. Like three weeks ago, I was in like ninth place. And then I yeah. go on a three game winning streak and I'm like, oh, I'm getting fucking hot now. And yeah. then like I had so much momentum and George drops at 200 spot on me. And I'm like, fuck, dude, because like it, the fact that I dropped 180 hurt so bad, you know, because it was like I should have walked away with the dub. What and are you going to do? Yeah, there's I'd be sitting pretty in a playoff spot and uh, come roaring back. And now I'm second in points. Now I'm playing one chain. So one chains wins. He's in. If I beat one chains. I still need either either Animal to lose or Joe to lose. So I have like a 50-50 shot if I beat you, and I, I feel pretty good about it regardless. Problem was, you have, you know, like last night the game starts, we have one player going in the game, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. And mind you, you know, I've told Animal this, and I've talked about it on my live stream today. Yeah. I'm in two big matchups this week. Only two of my fantasy football leagues have matchups that matter or I care about or I'm not on a buy or whatever. Okay. It's, vers it's versus you. And it's versus snacks in a in a playoff matchup in another <laughs> really? league. Really? That's good. It's a tight end premium for both leagues, and both teams I'm playing against have Travis Kelsey. No. So, yeah. So the fourth quarter rolls around, and I'm like, okay, nine points. I expect him to put up like 16 to 17 points, probably catch yeah. like a one yard touchdown at the end of the game, and be like, okay, we could live with that and roll onward. He rips off that 70 yard touch. Mind you, I actually almost got lucky because he got tackled a couple times, like on the one yard line and shit. I, sh I screamed loud, loud at the TV when he got tackled <laughs> at the one, like very loud. But even after that, he's he's at 17, 18 points there, and you're like feeling pretty good about it. But he goes in the yeah. fourth quarter at nine fucking points, finishes the game with 41. <laughs> and you, you know what's, it makes me so fucking, I haven't got mad about fantasy football in a long time. Like I've honestly. Yeah channeled that like, i've been able to meditate fantasy football out of the emotional part of my life last night absolutely <laughs> yo i oh man i was you were really, living re i was really angry yeah and it was right you know it was a fucked up part when those 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 uh sunday night games monday night games whatever thursday night games happen and like on the east coast they end pretty late right so a lot of the times i'll like fall asleep beginning of the fourth quarter midway through the fourth quarter once yeah. that big play happened, I could that put me in such a bad fucking mindset. So I obviously <laughs> stayed up for the remainder of the game. And by the time the end of the game happened, I was ready to just jump straight out the fucking yeah, window. Yeah. You can't even yeah. go to sleep. You're just fuming. You literally lost sleep over it. I know, dude. I, I feel horrible right now. I barely slept last night. And it wasn't even because of like the Kelsey, but it was more just like I was so pissed off. And I was like, I can't go to fucking bed now. So yeah. it's, it's a Thursday night game, too. And it's like, fuck, like this is it. I'm, I'm, you're, you're thinking to yourself, like, shit, I already lost. And it's yeah. fucking Thursday night. And it's 41 points. So I mean, cool. luckily, luckily, uh, you clearly haven't checked fantasy football this week. You have like two running backs on your roster and neither of them are playing. I don't know if you no! know. No, I actually haven't checked. I've been busy. <laughs> I haven't been on anything. Yeah. I, so, I didn't even know games were getting canceled until snacks wrote in our group chat. Yeah. So you have DeAndre Swift and, Eli uh, and Elijah Mitchell as your starting well, running backs. Swift, well, Swift, Swift is. Um, Swift just got ruled out. He's still what? No, Swift got ruled out today. Today? Swift got ruled out for this week's game. Yes, he's out. Elijah Mitchell hasn't practiced in like three weeks. He's also going to be out. 
Okay, I didn't know those things. The next running back you have up on your bench, the only other running back you have on your Can bench yeah. is Samaji P. Ryan. <laughs> Okay. And and so here's the thing: like I still have a little bit of hope. <laughs> Things have not gotten twisted. Yeah, uh, okay, because okay. I, you don't have any running backs. Just, despite you got 41, my running backs: Dalvin Cook, Joe Mixon, Cordell Patterson, and Damian Harris was just ruled out. I have Ramondre Stevenson. Oh, so, that's big. I have that in another league. That's huge. That's huge. I like. You that. shouldn't be happy while we're talking about the E Town get done. It's awesome. Really, really. <laughs> yeah, huge. good for you, man. No, so, all right, all right. so despite the awful, awful start. Uh, I still have a smidge of hope. Um, and I know like Marquise Brown is sick. DK Metcalf has missed like three straight. You, you might get lucky with Metcalf though, because their Not game got pushed. To, their game got pushed to Tuesday. Yeah. So if Metcalf, Metcalf's missed the last two practices. So I was like, he might not play, which is another fucking L for you. Obviously Ertz is also quite, you have like your entire team. Wait, is fucked right he, now. he missed practices with what? Like a back injury or something. I don't know. Oh. Doctor said he need a fucking bacchiotomy. <laughs> bacchiotomy. People are pissing me off. He's on the top of my list, by the way. He's on the <laughs> yeah, top, he's... fucking top of my list. He's been bad. Jesus um, Christ. So, right, so Swift is out and, and Mitchell's out? Mitchell hasn't been officially ruled out, but I, I, don't, I don't think he's been on a practice field in like three weeks. Yeah, so he's not trending in the right direction. You know who I got to pick up, right? Ronald Jones. Oh, wait, you can't. I just got yeah, him. Yeah. Maybe Bashard <laughs> Bashard Perryman. You need <laughs> running backs, dude. <laughs> yeah. oh, running back. Running back. Yeah, you know oh, I need a running back. Your whole your whole bench is wide receivers and tight ends. Like you'll be up, you're fine filling up the flex spots, but you literally don't have running backs to put into your fucking lineup. So I need two running backs. All right. So my guess is yeah, you like, have Daryl Williams. Can we throw up? Time. Can we throw up the um? Yeah, hold the on. The waiver wire. Yeah, give me a sec. You have um Daryl Williams. You can drop who went last. In the, the, for the first time in fantasy history, um. I would love to see you pick the two players you want me to play. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually a power move. Uh, I would love for you to play Jalen Richard. No, no, no. You're going too low. You're going too low. <laughs> dude, he's like number four on the list <laughs> on the waiver wire, dude. <laughs> um, all right. So, all right. So as bad as the 40 was and as, as much sleep as you lost, lost over it, you're still feeling like you're not out of it. I, yeah. Like I'm, I definitely don't feel good, but I feel like at least I have a fun, like last week. I started off the Thursday night game with Dalvin Cook giving me 35, and I still lost to George. I'm going to need a fucking triumphant, heroic, like unbelievable performance out of my team. But if we're yeah. ever going to pull it off, like with those four running backs, Tom Brady, I mean, Godwin and Ayuk, I feel really good about right now, given like their team situations. I feel, you yeah. know what? Fuck me though. You got Kelsey going, and then TJ Hawkinson got ruled out. So I'm here sitting, fucking holding the bag with some shit tight end who's going to get me a fucking donut, probably. Jesus. Also, dude, I don't want to help you. No. crazy. I don't want to help you pick up a fucking running back right now. Like, there's no shot I'm doing this with you. All right, fine, fine. Don't do it. I'm, I mean, I'm looking, myself. Steven. Like, it, they're all the same. Like, it's just you're gonna. They're have all to terrible. Like, yeah. It's like Mike Davis, uh, Matt Breda, uh, Dontrell Hillier. Like, there's uh, Brandon Bolden. Like, you can pick up any one of those guys, and you just hope you get four or five points. Yeah. At that point, I mean, and if they go okay. off, then good for you. All but, right. So this is a good. This is so this is not ideal. A not ideal situation for me. Not, right. no. not ideal situation for not me. Ideal. Yeah. You really put yourself in a tough spot by not like really paying I mean, attention this week. Look, if I if I was to not have two running backs or I have to play shit, the one thing I would probably want to do is score 41 points on a Thursday night. Yeah. That Kelsey move more than makes like even if he had scored 15, you'd be like, okay, and then that's an yeah. extra like 25 that you just kind of disperse to your running back. So like fuck you. Yeah, yeah. You kind of like, hey, you take five points, you take ten points, you kind of even it out a little bit, you know. It's nonsense, yeah. Um, which, you know, which makes you know me. Feel I would a like bit to better. say this though. I would like to say this. As bad as it is for you, and as good as that was for me, I like I paid. I picked Travis Kelsey in the first round, my first pick. Like Same. I should be rewarded for that. You know what I'm saying, dude? So I, you know, like the game got so deep into the game where he wasn't playing well that I was on my way onto my laptop to like screen record uh, the E Town Get Down draft night. Of you being like, he's my first pick. He gets double the points, and I'm and I was gonna make like a clip of you saying that with him, him and his eight points. I mean, you can yeah. How, how did that go? How'd that go? Did you just X out the tab? Yeah, no, I just closed my laptop and spilled <laughs> water on top of it. Video, but like it's now it's like a a positive promotional video, you know? Yeah. No. I, In Steve's uh light. All right. So right after that, I was I was a little bummed. You know, you never want to take a tight end for, or well, I guess you do, but like tight taking tight end first. There's so many extra like different ways you can go. And I was a little bummed at times this year, especially the last couple of weeks, he's been sucking. So 
Yeah. I was a little he, bummed. He was due. But... Once, once the whole industry starts saying that Travis Kelsey is washed, that's yeah. why I knew I was done. That's why I knew like he was absolutely yeah. going to go nuts. Okay, there's a couple other things like Josh Allen dealing with the foot sprain. Oh, yeah, let's go through this. Tough matchup versus Carolina. Uh, what, Elijah um... Mitchell... DeAndre What's Swift Josh hurt. Allen's deal? Is he is he still hurt? What do you have? Nah, he'll, he'll be he'll be fine. Maybe like a tiny tiny bit limited, but there's probably something there. Um, okay, I can deal with that. Mitchell Swift Pittman's got a really tough matchup against New England. Um, yeah, I didn't like that that much. That's tough for him. Metcalf, you know, I mean, on paper against the Rams, Jalen Ramsey should be back. Like no locket, so they focus on him again. He, I mean, he's. Uh, let me see if we have a status update on him. Yeah, give me something. Metcalf, re- foot back, and the Seahawks will no longer play the Rams on the Sunday. No! Give them, give them, no, they play on Tuesday. No, Tuesday no, no, now. it's fine. That's not what I'm saying. The oh, game the, te- oh the, te- the team. Yeah. The team will no longer play. Yeah, he didn't practice Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know if we got any uh, update for Friday, but um, he's kind of a little bit questionable. Okay, yep. so the two days the two days are good then. Yeah, the two, that's huge for you because you might not have had Metcalf. That's um, very big. Amari <laughs> Cooper uh, Coop. should be business as usual marquise brown questionable due to illness that's his qb is his qb looking like he's gonna play or no no i think you're gonna have tyler huntley there i forgot about that and that guy's just a shittier version of yeah um, pretty much a shitty version quarterback that he already had yeah shitty version and he showed really good chemistry with bateman uh prescott at new york honestly like your quarterbacks have great matchups the rest of your team like not not fantastic. Um, yeah, you started really hot, and now I I don't know if the rest of your team's going to be able to uh, keep up. Like animal, looking at the forty one spot that Kel- Kelsey put up, and then still seeing our matchup, like I still yeah. feel like I have a decent chance. Yeah, dude, dude. I mean, you have Tom Brady. Tom Brady literally dude. just fucking throw four touchdowns like every week now. It's I just I've need been, some of them to go to Godwin. I've been prancing around yeah. all day, like I had this thing in the bag, and now that I'm actually looking at it, it's not. This we're we're in a live game here, boys. Oh, we're in a live game. Yeah, like yeah. on paper, a lot of it seems difficult for you, but I feel like every time we start putting matchups on paper, it never goes that way. The one thing I will yeah. say, I think Dalvin Cook might really show why he was the number two pick against Chicago. Yeah, Chicago's run defense has been so bad, and they're hit by COVID really, really hard. Like half of their defense is out. Alexander mm. Madison is on the COVID list, so Cook's going to be in line for thirty touches, Shit. and I, he he could match Travis Kelsey or Cook's be like a be cooking. I could nice very, Max. Very yeah, nice, Max. Um, no ever said um what I am happy about is that that cook game is gonna be Monday night. Yeah. And I was just dreading sitting there, like, oh, all he's gotta do is score like 18 points and then you lose. Yeah. And then um, you know, the barrage of texts you get, like you suck, fuck you, all that shit. <laughs> I did I was not looking forward to that at all. <laughs> yeah, well then you got Metcalf on uh yeah, so I got a Sunday night yeah. game, I got a Monday night game. I'm just realizing Adam <laughs> looking at my team, if we stream at one o'clock, uh actually he has a lot what, of no, no one's playing. I do. I have, I have Tua who I don't actually, I might not start Tua over Taysom Hill. That's a decision I need to make. Uh, but if I don't start Tua, then the only player I have is Miami. <laughs> they play the Jets. The Tua plays the Jets. Yeah. Right? Tua does play the Jets. Yeah, like think, yeah, but, like, but like Taysom Hill it has upside, you know, like he could oh, drop a 30 sure. spot and I might need that. Yeah. But I think a uh, lot of decisions to make. Yes. You could say that again. How do you um, make a decision, by the way? You just kind of research everything you can and then make a gut decision? Uh, For this one in particular, I don't know what I'm going to do. I like, do no you idea. have anyone you go to? Like, do you ask someone? Do you, like, ask Max? Do you, like, I don't know, Definitely direct message? That, no. like, <laughs> underdog guys? Me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, You're I, my top go-to guy. I listen to some podcasts throughout the week, but, like, most of them, <laughs> most of them are kind of just to stay informed on – um, like if there are injuries around the league or if there's, you know, like a defensive, yeah. F- uh, injury. yeah. Okay. Elijah Mitchell just got ruled out. So you're down Great. both of your starting running backs. Great. <laughs> Love that. Love that. All right. Um, yeah. I don't know. I kind of just like, just uh, hope for the best. I do my research and then just fucking nothing matters. Honestly, literally nothing matters. Yeah. I've found like, if you can keep for the most part, the same lineup all year, just let it like, let it do itself. Let it do its thing. That's worked for me for the most part. Well, like, that's the thing because like people people draft players and they'll be like, yo, he was the wide receiver 15 last year and he will be that over the course of the season. But when you try to guess his wide receiver 15 games, you're not going to yeah. get it. So if you leave him in your lineup, he'll, he'll give you the highs and the lows that come with being wide receiver 15. We all try to like guess the consistency along the way. But, you know, I used to always get to like wave two, a little bit. Yeah too cute with it where like I would try and find like the wide receiver three, like he's normally wide receiver three. Who's going to be like the wide receiver one this week. And uh, 
I did it one time with Ramses Barton. It was like a spot start like, <laughs> four, years Barton. like four years ago, and he scored like 18 points. He shouldn't have had no business doing what he did. And I was like, I'm a fucking god. I am the sharp. And then yeah. ever since then, I just start shitty players, and they don't score points. So like, yeah, you year, feel good I'm after like, that. You know what? Stick to your studs. You know, you swap out a flex here and there, and that's it. And it's yeah, just been pretty. I mean, obviously you have to draft well, but like for the most part, that, that's that's been working for me this year. Just keeping it yeah. simple. So well, Nick, Andre, we, we we got a live game, bro. We do have a very live game. We got um, a live game. Enough of uh your guys matchup. I honestly don't care. Wait, Max, can I say one last thing on it? Yeah, sure. I I mean, this is when I was fucking prancing around before, but I was feeling so good. I was going to rub it in your face. I went to the liquor store on the way home. I was going to get a 40 and drink it in your face. You know, 40 points, symbolism of it. Oh, Dude, damn. they don't sell 40s anymore. Like Colt 45, what? Old English. I went into two, well, in New York as City, of, I'm sure they did. Uh, yeah, as of when? I, I went to two liquor stores. Two liquor stores. I was going to drink it in your face. I'm going to be the cool guy with the 40. And it didn't happen. You're going to be the cool old guy with the 40. Yeah, I don't think that. <laughs> old, <laughs> that yeah, old guy. <laughs> Yeah, old guy. Really I, think, uh, I did Edward Forty Hands like actually that wasn't recently. Maybe that was like four years ago, five yeah, years ago in college. That's our bet then. Loser has to do Edward Forty Hands. That and the uh, the Wizard game. You guys ever play that? Where hold like- up, you can't say that after Travis Kelsey drops forty <laughs> fucking points on me. <laughs> You're right. I guess betting now is kind of a moot point. Yeah, I know you wanted to bullshit. bet. We could have bet something. I did. Yeah, I'm still kind of down to bet, but not nothing that like I don't know if my body can handle Edward Forty Hands at this at this age right now. That's the point. What do you think that I I'll just right? But I'm saying it can't be something that intense if I'm already on the losing side of it. You know, like it'd have to be something a little easier. I All think right, we'll see. Maybe like, we'll make a bet after the one o'clock. So if it even got Edward bit. Forty Hand, he gets Edward Forty Hands or something. Ooh, a know? little handicap. Yeah, you know, like just to even it up. I could do like oh, a forty, oh, 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 oh. a forty, and a can of beer, and he can do like double forties. Yeah, you can figure it out. There's okay. always a way to make it, you know, to, to change the odds here. One change, I'm like, down with. Max? You want to, you want to do that live on air right now? I I can't find forties. I'll fucking find them. Don't worry do about it, it. On Sunday for the stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Edward forty, 40 hands it. dealers. I got on like the corner of my fucking block, dude. <laughs> Edward, <laughs> let's Edward forty hands it. Yeah. I love that. All right, all cool. right, Max. Let me hear about your fucking squad. Yeah, bullshit. Well, I just wonder what you guys think, really. I mean, so right now, I um, congratulations to Snacks last night. You know, Keenan Allen dropped a nice sixteen points. It's really good. I'm really happy for him. And why is nice Russ? Team. Why does Russ have zero points Four. in his projected slot? Uh, I don't know. COVID. But... Nah. I for a slow, he's... for as slow as the game started for me and Snacks, we finished pretty strong. Is it because the game's on Tuesday and it's like not registering right now because it's like next week? I don't know. I, I guess, but like Metcalf had points and so does Cooper Cup, but for some reason they just don't have Russ in there. But yeah, it's just playing an update. Uh, Sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> I mean, looking at your game, I'm gonna be honest. I yeah, no, I definitely would take snacks aside by a long shot. Yeah, I'm not liking my um my matchups, and I'm not my 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 team has a lot of question marks right now. I have to figure out obviously what's gonna happen between Jalen Hurts and and Gardner Minshew. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that even a decision? Well, I mean, it's a not Ferrari a Ferrari and a fucking it's, Ford pickup truck. It, it, it's not animals' decision. They're on the yeah. same team. One chains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I hold on, I got, I got a call. Hold on, I got a call. <laughs> to figure out what happens there, and then obviously, uh, I'm not going to really change anything. It's really just I'm a little worried about Nick Chubb. I, I kind of excited in a way though because he could be the only guy really yeah. available and like full full availability. You know, so they could lean on him, which would be nice. And he's yeah. been playing like shit the past two weeks. I think he's had like eight and six points. So not ideal. Yeah. Um, he's due for a bounce back, and this would be a great week for it. I really need it. Uh, yeah. Zeke is in the same situation. Zeke's been playing like shit, six points. Uh, Nick, what do you think of Zeke? Is he is his knee like really fucking him, or is it like a usage thing? Dude, it has to be because Corey Clement got more carries than Zeke did last week. Yeah. Like in, in no normal sane situation is that happening. Hold on, yeah. who got who got more carries than Zeke last week? Corey Clement on Corey Dallas. Clement. Oh, let me write that name down. Love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the waiver wire real quick. Uh, you know I mean, I'm dude, getting Corey Clement. If, if you look at Snacks' roster, though, like I feel like yours is littered with a lot of question marks. And like Derek Carr, Cleveland's defense is absolutely, they have nobody on their defense with COVID. Yeah. James Robinson versus Houston, he's been terrible, but he's going to be really good. This back, week. Dude. And the new Urban Meyer's gone. They're going to be like, hey, uh, James, no Urban, I'm yeah. give me the ball. Now you're going to get it because we know how to fucking coach. On like no this. Carlos Hyde. Uh, Cooper Cup versus Seattle is 92 points. Uh, yeah. Let's see. 
yeah, just I, I don't know. I, I I see so much upside on Mike Evans versus New Orleans, like a lot of upside on his. It just fits team. the narrative too. Like you know, it's perfect. Like Snacks sucks and his team sucked all year, and now he's gonna fucking knock me out of the playoffs, and he's gonna get his little win. And that's what makes. Yeah, it. he's gonna go runner runner, and then he's gonna yeah. fucking let you hear that. You know, he's gonna act 100%. like he's gonna act like keeping me out of the playoffs is like winning a championship for him. And like, I mean, yeah, it is. So it is I'm, I'm happy for, for Snacks. You know, pretty he's good a champ. So I gotta have some respect. Um, I'm so a little happy. Nervous. How are you happy for snacks that he's going to beat you and take, knock you out? Yeah, are you out are you of the playoffs if you lose for sure? It's RJ. It's like, Dude, that's some fucking bullshit. Oh, RJ, RJ. Animal. Oh, RJ in. Animal, are you, can you lose and still get in, Animal? Um, I think you need to lose. No, because of the records. You would have to win, actually, and then I don't have to have more points than you. Yes. Okay, so that's not going to happen. I didn't well, know that. You, whoa, 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 whoa. I you think mean, there's a route for me to are very close in points, my guy. Like one change. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you can possibly still lose maybe and get in. Yeah. You have, who, 40, who you exactly... have 41 more points than me, Nick. So obviously it's it's gonna be tough, but I can Yeah, but like my based on my team and the matchups, there's no way you're outscoring me by 41. Who exactly are we I, rooting for in Larry's game? If I outscore you by 41, then I probably I'm will. rooting for Larry because I need Joe or Animal to lose if I beat you. I need okay. one of those two to lose. So you're rooting for Larry. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I hope I hope it doesn't shake out where I have to play Larry in my first in my first week if I make it. You got double because... down on my top bet. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. I'll owe him. Double... I'll pay you my debt. I'll owe him the four hot dogs. Wait, did you guys go? No, we didn't go. We're gonna go in. I don't know. Maybe next weekend. You guys are not going. You're fucking such a fraud. We're gonna go. What do you think? I'm a flake. <laughs> yes. What do you think? I'm gonna. I say things and then don't do them. <laughs> nah, dude. Maybe couldn't be you. Film this at like two o'clock. My word is as strong Amazing. as Hulk. When I give word you my word, a, your word at this point is as strong as the fucking vaccine, bro. It, it, it is <laughs> it isn't very strong. It's not strong at all. No, yeah. It's Swiss cheese. Yeah, big time. I'm not um, like anti vax. I'm like the least anti vax person, but I think they done changed me. I'm not getting the fucking booster. There's no shot. Like, no I got I got both vax. I, this is going to turn into an anti vax. You're anti vax? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know who, I think I, you know I, I might have uh, done. I might have done switched up. Okay. I might you be know a what anti-vax people usually do? They Come here, baby. They get the vax. I'm to the dark side. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, I got both of the... I got the first two vaccines, and both of them yeah. killed me immediately, right? Like, that night, yeah. I got super fucking sick, and I was like, this better be worth it. Still yeah. ended up catching... <laughs> still ended up catching COVID. Got really sick from it. So I'm like, 0 for 3. And I'm like, dude, if I'm going to just get the booster, also get sick again, and then, yeah. like, probably catch COVID again. Like, fuck this. Fuck I got fuck our bet now. I got you. our bet. Loser gets the booster. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm out. I didn't even get the first two. I'm just gonna get the booster. Edward Vax, oh, boost me, kid. Boost me. Fuck. Fuck. That's great. I don't know. I'm I'm excited though for this weekend. We got some fucking real life. Yeah, what real life drama going on? Steve, we, we need you in the HQ. We need you here. Yeah, I, I kind of want to go. Max, are you gonna drive? No, it's no. Oh, okay. No. Who else is going? Is is snacks I'll get, not going? I'll get you guys a fucking. I'll get you guys an Uber one way. You choose which way. Oh, mm. okay. That's fine. That's actually a great deal. Oh. All right. I'll see if I can get a case of old English or something. Well, we should. I would probably Max bring the duct tape. When we get into the city, it's probably a good place to buy it. Like, I'm sure they're going to. Well, not. It. We're going to have to wait the. We're not going to. We're going to have to do the OE next week because we won't know who wins by Sunday because we still have. Monday oh, Tuesday that players. is true. But it'd be good that'll for be next a lot week. Sadder. That's going to be a lot more sad if you're not in the playoffs mm -hmm. and you're sitting there. With old English taped to your hand, and you got a booster shot. In so, your what, blood. so what you're gonna, <laughs> so what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is like tape my hands with it, and then you're gonna tape my mouth so I can't talk the entire podcast, and then also put a syringe in my fucking arm. With the <laughs> we're gonna like so bring one of those there. like door to door yeah. doctors to show up. We're like, yeah, all right, I'm here for that booster. Make it so like you know, like those uh, big like YouTube videos I always do like the big uh, like dominoes and stuff. We'll have it all set up so that when you lose, it just hits the uh, needle, and boom, right injects you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen any of those YouTube videos that Max is talking about. But yeah, I think <laughs> I get the gist. Of it. The guy takes a marble and throws it, and then it knocks like forty things over, and it leads to a ball going in a cup. Oh, and oh, oh. And then yeah. like, and then like a bowling ball hits like yeah. something, and then like a little like monkey pencil, walk, and then yeah, hits pencil thing. rolls and hits something else, and it causes. And then you get like, ball. and then you get like eggs and bacon and coffee. You know what I mean? Like that's like the end of it. That's a I think it's called. Yeah. I think it's called the Rune Glyphberg machine. Wait, are you serious right now? This is a real thing. Are you fucking with me? I'm serious, bro. I'm this really, I, I'm actually really smart. I like to pretend to be dumb, but it's that smart. Bro, I kind of want to pretend do... to be dumb. That's smart. 
What's I up? I want to start making top ten lists of of like yeah. E Town Get Down. I want to start yeah, doing yeah, like yeah. like uh, the the league mates ranked like in terms of like intelligence. I feel like that would be a really fun argument to have. Well, there's only one way to do it. We have to take a test. You know, like like a SAT or no, a... no, like we vote on it, but we like have a a, a round table discussion on it. Like I think that okay. would bring out the people who are the dumbest because they'd be saying dumb shit throughout the argument. Like, okay, make, hands down, hands down. Case. Who's the smartest person? I don't know. Are we talking? Well, that's a dumb answer, Max. So you're dumb. It depends. Max, you're good. It depends on how you're measuring smart. Like, is it street smart, book smart? Like Shane, very uh, financially smart, probably right. Mm. Okay, dot dot dot. Because is dumb like in real life? Some shit. What is he? Are you about to say that Matt, that he, Shane is dumb in real life? No, I'm just saying he could, you know, it all depends on how you measure smart. Like, I consider myself the smartest smart. motherfucker alive. No, like, uh, give, give me a stick. And you are smart. Else, uh, I'm, a, I'm like MacGyver, you know, I'll fucking make yeah. you something. Uh, I'm an engineer. I'm a street. I'm everything. You but are dude, you're like have... smart in your own kind of like spectrum way. And there's, I think, a lot of people in our group, you know, like George, I, I low key think George is probably like one or two. He's trivia smart. That's not real smart. No, he's really smart. He, he knows a lot of shit, useful shit. He's just like the if he wasn't if he had such a good work ethic. But George, I actually was having this conversation with someone the other day. I I felt like if George actually wanted to like work really hard at something, he could be like super successful. Like I could see George being like a a really good like coder. You know, like sitting over the computer, being like, oh, I'm gonna fucking like hack this bullshit all day and yeah. figure out how to do this nonsense. I feel like he's pretty smart. Um, I feel like our league is like half and half. It's like. Four or five smart people, four or five really dumb people. Yeah. Where do you put me, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> if you have Got to it. ask, you can't. I'm smart, yeah, I'm smart enough to realize that reaction. <laughs> but listen, um, I have years and years on you guys. You know, I'm like the wisdom. Like, yeah. I got the, the old age wisdom. Like, that you young guns haven't experienced yet in real life. I've experienced more things than you guys. I agree. All right, first, you. I watched your video the other day. One, I didn't, I'm not. 37 years old graduated in 2000 whatever i'm a lot what younger video? than that what video um like a fade the public one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the one where you guys kept calling me fat <laughs> <laughs> i'm laying in my bed it's like oh, three the in the morning. Fat one? Yeah. yeah it's like three in the morning and i'm looking at these three fucking assholes calling me skinny fat and they're like yeah you know he's like skinny but like <laughs> there's a lot of fat on it <laughs> wait animal you know it. you know what the one thing i have noticed this year our league Everyone in our league has been watching our videos every single week this year. That's good. Yeah, that's good. It's good. All, you guys all of out. you guys, all you guys talk shit, but then you start talking about what we talked about, and then you start pulling clips from the videos. Yep. I'm like, oh, make sure you hit the fucking thumbs up while you're watching all of our fucking videos, losers. Dead giveaway. Yeah. Dead giveaway. Now, George, George just keeps burning you on that video. Like, tell tell the people of the world what he's doing because it's kind of awesome. I love it every time. So it's so good. It hits so hard. And it and does. Like, yeah, yeah. The fact that he beat me too was so, so miserable. So Georgia, uh, in the beginning of the year, me, animal and snacks were just doing a regular fade the public video. And like, this was maybe week four or five into the season. And Georgia's team was horrible. It was like yeah, by yeah, far yeah. and away the worst team. And we had like every other team was competing and George had like, you know, he was like 200 points down from everybody. It was like the fifth week of the season. So we're like, everyone has a fighting chance except for George. He's probably going to be last place. I think your team is good. I don't think you're the best team in the league, to be honest with you. I think you're definitely a player. That's really all that fucking matters in this league. Once yeah, you get exactly. it, it's all happen. Right now. Yeah, like well, your team. Is I, I just, I, I, hope I, team, hope. I think our whole league is fucking good besides George's team, honestly. George has been on a roaring comeback. He's in first place now and most likely going to be the number one seed. He was the one who just dropped 200 points on me, beat me 200 to 180. So he keeps pulling this 10 second clip from that Fade the Public episode of me <laughs> literally being like, everyone is competing except for George. His team is fucking terrible. He's going to get last place. <laughs> I think our whole league is fucking good besides George's team, honestly. Besides George's team, honestly. Besides George's team, honestly. And, it's uh, awesome. It's so fucking good. There's nothing I could do except for, except for, except for winning the whole goddamn thing. Stuck in the playoffs and then take care of it there. Yeah, like right I would now, love to see him in the playoffs. I'd love to see any of you in the playoffs. I just want to get in. Oh, yeah, someone that has. Would be to be nice. Well, actually, someone. My will. team's gonna run the fucking table if I get in, and I think you oh, know. Oh, you mean like change. you'd love to see one of us in the? I thought you meant like if you didn't make it, you want to see us succeed. Oh fuck no. Uh, no yeah, yeah. So, if I, was, I had I to choose, that. if I had to choose someone. Um, that I want to see win. <laughs> Honestly, this is a good crop. Like I actually like, I like all of you individually. One chains, animal, appreciate uh, Larry. Thanks, definitely not George. <laughs> George, definitely not. I can't have him win no, this. No, it'd be so bad. Yeah, uh, we need George to crash and burn. Besides George's team, honestly. 
one chains like i would like to see you win but you've already you won it a couple of years ago so i don't want you having that kind of prestige in the league yeah animal is there, is there a two-time winners is there a two-time winners uh do you, do you go back the, yeah we definitely have yeah. multiple two-time winners. yeah okay, okay. Joe is a two-timer unfortunately okay um animal like first to worst baby representing the brand i'd be okay with you winning it would i want to be, be, cool. be between you and lunch I would like deep down in my heart, like all all things aside, not having to deal with your bullshit for the next year. I kind of want lunch to win. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, you would be annoying. Be you, would be, you would be brutal. Be yeah, but you know what? Like you're okay. It's okay. Like I I'd be okay with you having it because you're not like a you're not like a douchebag. You know where no, it's I like, wouldn't, like rub it in your face is like you're a, not a douchebag. He's just like you know people that are just like obnoxious and like I don't know. Yeah. It's you know, it's just like fucking... Max would be like eating a slice of pizza off the belt. Some yeah, like, kind of fat boy shit. Yeah, that's like I'm fine with that. I don't give a shit. You're not fat. Sorry, Max. That was an insult. I'm sorry. But regardless, I'm uh. Fat. I didn't mean that shit. I'm fat. Happening. At least you're not skinny fat, apparently, because that's the worst. That's. I mean, so you've disgusting. also maintained that your whole life, so it's pretty good. You you've pretty much re uh reached like capacity almost. Yeah, yeah you're good. Yeah. I don't know when I'm gonna stop. I keep like saying like, oh, it's the fastest I've ever been like every other week. So, yeah. You did, animal, that you did that Twitter thing that one night. Like, should I? Eat healthy, buy bigger clothes. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. I want to do it. I really want to do a documentary series, animal to animal. Yeah, like from animal to becoming an actual fucking animal. That'd be sick to talk. I'll wake to up at like six a.m. will get me like hitting the alarm clock, get ready to you know put on my job. In um, in another league, in another league, one of our punishments is is either lose fifteen pounds or gain fifteen pounds. Ooh, I've heard of that before. That's yeah, a good. So one. That could be that could be interesting. Which way would you go? Gain so much easier. Uh, at this point, I don't think I really. You have, only like, have one way to go, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have 15 pounds to lose. You can't lose 15 pounds. No, no you gotta cut like a hand off or something. No. I also wouldn't want to gain 15 pounds though. Like, that's t that's tough though. Like, to do either one, no matter what like spot you're in, because you're just like it, do, losing 15 pounds straight up is just like not easy. Because you could just be like, ah, I don't want to fucking do this, and I guess that's the point of the punishment. I can lose but... 15 pounds in a week. Okay, animal. Oh, uh, bring you bring him back to his high school wrestling days where he yeah, like dude, would put a garbage bag on. I don't understand how fast bottle. how fast I lose weight. I also gain weight very fast, but like animals, one of those people who's like overweight and then will can just always be like, if I wanted to like get ripped again in a couple weeks, I could do it, and I doesn't mean, actually yeah. realize how much further he's drifting away and away and away from that. Not yeah. like I don't move anymore. I'm not an active person. I literally sit in the chair or in my bed like all day. So. If I just go out and go for walks, I'll lose 10 pounds in a week. If I just go I'm out be honest. Walk. I'm concerned about your 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 laziness and your work ethic when we uh when we oh, get no. into the office. I don't know. Yeah. I don't worry about that. But Max, now that like you're gonna be like on videos a lot more and stuff, like people don't want to look at ugly people. Like you gotta well, get yeah. hot. Also, what I was uh, and Nick, when I say like I'm that, I'm that's gonna be in the contract. Like he's gonna have to lose 25 before he gets on camera. <laughs> yeah, like it's up to you that like you can just come up to him and be like, hey, you're getting ugly and fat. Just and have a you to look better. <laughs> yeah. Come in, let's go. Let's get on this. But as his boss, boss, you can't legally say that to him. You're like, whatever <laughs> yeah. you're now, just get. Do you know how many laws we're breaking Tighter. within? Like, Tighter. I'm gonna break so many laws immediately. <laughs> Tighter. Yeah, that is good, dude. I'm so excited. By the way, Max was telling me what's going on. That's so fucking cool. Yeah, Steve didn't watch the video apparently. So, oh no, yeah, I, I watched. Uh, I, uh, that was your vlog, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I just figured I had told you in person. But yeah, we got. Uh, we're yeah, up... like always. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Kids, to, this. Sick he, off. He this. There's no way I haven't like, told you about this. Stuff. There's no, no way I haven't told you. No. The best was when you rented that mansion, yeah, for your birthday, and then like, <laughs> oh man, that was so cool. Um, yeah. So we sent over the final offer today for the. We basically have a deal. I just, I'm actually waiting for Snacks's aunt, who is a commercial real estate lawyer. She's gonna need oh, to look over the contract, and once we have that signed off, the space is ours as of February first um wow so we're growing so steve if you want to if you want to work a little bit fucking hard maybe there's a spot for you on the team i mean i'd have to shed a few pounds but yeah i'm in <laughs> you gotta meet the weight requirement but <laughs> i yeah. actually i actually think uh no i think if if animal loses pounds you have to go up in weight i think we need to like keep <laughs> like, ourselves we need to, like keep a consistent weight yeah, yeah. that would Man, actually be really it's funny all about balance no, but what, like, what's going on in there? Like, uh, people are going to be editing, people are going to be shooting videos, you're going to be working. That's going to be really cool. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a real fucking office. Yeah. We're going to be scaling up content volume wise, yeah. uh, distribution wise. I met with a web developer yesterday um, that lives in Brooklyn, and he's going to be able to help us build a bunch of tools that we're going to turn into a whole lot of money, and then we're going to yeah. uh, we're going to spend that money on uh, on the Falcons uh, at home next year. <laughs> Exciting stuff. 
Fuck yeah, always. Do you think we have one more NFL football game in us, by the way? Tailgate video? Oh, one more? Are you kidding me? Yo, you mean this year? I mean this year. I, I always thought it would be cool to go to like, the most cold game of the year and just video and see what we can do. Sounds awful. Exactly. People like awful. Mm, that's the kind of creative stuff we need. <laughs> People like <See>? awful. <laughs> uh, I would go to a game. I haven't been to a game yet this year. We're awful. Because we went to the first game of the season. It was fun. Snacks was an absolute disgrace. Dude, I'm going to be honest. Everyone. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I was at the wedding. That was the wedding I got a COVID. Yeah, at. that was the wedding one. Yeah. I uh, I almost think I would rather go to a Jets game at this point than it. Like, I can't go to. I don't think I want to go to a Giants snacks tailgate. No, I didn't yeah, want no, any no. this year. That was good enough. And I just watched him watch a game last week. So, like, I've had I've had my fill. Jets game sounds like a good time. Who are they playing in the next couple of weeks? You got a good uh, one? I think. They play Tampa Bay Bucks. They play the Bills. Dude, they play like, the Jaguars, dude, and they play the Bills. Dolphins. Could be a fun one with Bills Mafia, dude. Bucks, uh, Bucks. Uh, they play the Bucks the day after New Year's, At January home? January second. Yeah, that's it's the Jaguars December the the day after Christmas, and then the well, Jets. January second is day after New Year's. New Year's. Oh yeah, day after New Year's Day. Yeah. Day after New Year's Day, January second, yeah. they play at home against the Bucks at one o'clock. You want, dude? Do we let's want- do it up. Let's fucking lock it down. Let's do it. Let's lock. No, for real, Max. You in? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk Max. about it after. Like, okay. Let's talk about it off air. For this but I feel like it would be yeah. cool to go Man. tailgate a freezing cold game. I'll bring a, a fire pit. We can like I don't know like duct like, tape forties to our hands. Like, it'll be cool. Maybe we can get Gary V to come to the tailgate. Yeah. To I tell know. you the truth, if it's a Jets game, uh, one of my good friends tailgates with him every week. Although he said he's been uh, simping out lately and hasn't been going. Really. Yeah, that's bullshit, Ooh, right? He's been too too in the NFT game. He follows me on Twitter now. I can DM Does him. Does he, he really? He doesn't answer me though. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. I'll hit him up. Let's hit him up. Let's, let's hit him up as many ways as fucking possible. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Just hit he him better up. now. He knows. Nick, dude, imagine we got three hours with Gary V. Like, you know how many? You know how many things we could fucking pitch to him? Oh yeah, that would you be sick. Hit him up and make sure you send like a picture of your V friend so he knows like you have him. Like, yo, like this is my V friend. I just got his book. I just got his book in the mail like yesterday. His new book. Oh, uh, what's the deal? Like people are buying a bunch so they can get an NFT. Oh, well, he heard of them. It's so he scary. made a deal. Yeah. Well, he put that out a while ago. So you, there was like a small time frame that you had in oh, order okay. to pre-order it. Um, people are getting fifty hundred pound box deliveries at their house because of all the books. Insane. Well, no, it was it was just order twelve <laughs> copies for this NFT, and like twelve yeah. copies of that would have been like one hundred twenty bucks. And this NFT is probably going to be like eight thousand dollars. So it was an easy wow, buy. Wow. I just wasn't paying attention when he put yeah. it into his Discord, so like I missed it. But like, I'm still going to read the book. Actually, the job I was working today, I was at the Vayner Studios. Really? Yeah, it's it's weird though. Like no one works there anymore. Just because they're all remote. Everyone's remote. It's like an empty building. COVID, man. COVID ruins work. It ruins NFL. Hey, dude, they about to lock that shit down. We're fucking heading in. We're getting a space, and they're fucking saying. I that. love how we're just going complete opposite, dude. I like. I can't wait to work in a fucking office. Nick, I haven't been in an I, office in like five years. I Nick, saw as a boss, too. as a boss, will you make sure that Max gets vaccinated, please? I was okay. <laughs> I was saying that to him uh, <laughs> when we were looking at the uh, at the office space the other day. I don't remember what I was saying, but I was talking about how he's going to have to get it. I'm going to make sure everyone gets it. Good, especially Max. Yeah. Yeah, really, we really pivoted from Nick being an anti-vaxxer at the beginning of the show to now <laughs> mandatory to vaccines now for this. Well, that's a personal decision. Like, I, I don't want to get it because it hurts me physically, but I am concerned about the safety of my other employees. Therefore, you have to get it. As that's you should right. be. Like, once you have people under your wing, like, you start caring about them, you know? You don't want to see them get hurt. Only them, only, man. only then do I start caring about them. You know, like, in the movies, when someone gets, like, taken by a bad guy, and they're like, take me instead! Yeah. Take me! It's what it's kind of like. Yeah. Right. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. Wait, hold <laughs> on. I'm kind of excited for your date tonight, dude. Why? I don't know. I think it's cool. Dates and stuff. I go on dates like, all the time. Are you nervous? Like, did you do, no. like, the... Did you do the neck to the toe shave yet? The neck to toe? No, I go in there hairy as shit. <laughs> Yo, that's honestly that's the best way to do it because it's it's always when you're not prepared, something happens. I've had so many times, like well, you know, more in the college. Why is that the best way to do it? Because it's just the way it's just the way life works, is what I'm saying. Like if you like shave everything you get like prepared, you're gonna go home by yourself and just be squeaky clean. Yeah, but, but like you're going out on a date, it's not like random. You know, it's not like you're like you're getting yeah, lucky or something. Yeah, but Nick, that's Nick, not how life knowing works. you. You're going to wear a t-shirt and a blazer tonight, no? A blazer? If you think I've ever worn a blazer to a date you're in my a, life. Dude, you're a t-shirt blazer guy. I'm literally, you. I just wear a black t-shirt to basically everything and everywhere. Yeah. Okay. 
I'll All probably right. do I'll probably do a hoodie though, a hoodie with like um not maybe a jacket over it, but like a like a button up kind of shirt, more of like yeah, um, like blazery, yeah, kind of like <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like a blazer with a t shirt, like all blazery, so like two buttons, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know what's gonna Thinking be a red just, flag? You Thinking about your V neck, you're gonna what? go to a yeah, do a V neck blazer. You're gonna go to a nice <laughs> restaurant or whatever with this girl. She's not gonna have her hair done or whatever, and then you're gonna order a martini, uh, not a martini, a uh, margarita, and that's gonna be a red flag for her. Isn't that weird to order margaritas? no in the winter uh some like do you ever get a look like oh sir we don't serve those in the winter no i've no, never had some, i've never had a place in new york say that I want your money idiot they don't care what you drink stupid. yes stupid. Yeah, all right stupid. sorry maybe that was stupid i'm, I'm sorry that. i just think it's weird do you just crush uh margaritas all night or do you swap to like a beer or something uh, it depends where we are for a lot of the times. If I'm at like a cool cocktail bar, I'll start with the yeah. margarita. And then there's like four or five that are, um, that, that catch my eye. And I'm like, I want to pivot, but I, it, it, most of the time it's, I have to try the house marg off the rip. And then I kind of just go from there depending on. Okay. But you're like going. a pre-made specialty cocktail kind of guy. A what? Like the specialty cocktail list. Like you look uh, at the specialty on the cocktail. beach and, uh, yeah. Uh, if we're, if we're at the, uh, if we're at like a cool cocktail bar for sure. I, cool. I like going off the cocktail list. Cool. Something Max, Max is definitely a, hey, uh, what beer do you have on tap? Or, no, uh, he drinks scotch, like. you fucking idiot. No, he just drinks like scotch yeah, 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 on, yeah, drink, uh, on the Oh, Lag of Lulin? Lag of Lulin? No, I won't drink that. That's fucking, tastes like straight up bark. Yeah. <laughs> it really tastes like tree bark. Um, no, it's simple scotch or I love fruity drinks. All the drinks that like, you know, 10 years ago, guys were too afraid to drink. Give me the fucking pinkest, fruitiest drink you got. I fucking love it. I'm actually gonna pull up the the restaurant name and and go through the menu real quick of the cocktail. Yeah, let's oh, check it out before we before we get out of here. Was Miami Vice, one of my favorite island drinks. I love getting to Miami. They, Vice. Their first drink on the menu is called Mercury and Retrograde. Love Ooh. that. We've got a long distance runner, which is bourbon inside of it. It's got bourbon, amaro, Montenegro, fresh lemon, grapefruit, angosta. Rob. Okay, I'm not reading all these. Uh, the devil, you know, that sounds pretty yeah. fucking something. I should stay away from most likely. Um, yeah, probably not. If you don't know the devil yet, you probably shouldn't. shouldn't yeah. drink. Escape hatch, tender mercies. I love when uh, cocktail bars have like fun names for the drinks. Yeah. Went to last you, gotta, week. you gotta really read everything and figure out what's in it. It's a little confusing sometimes. Well, most of the time I just like look at the type of liquor and then if it like starts with tequila, I'll just be like that one. I don't know what it I don't know what it ends with. We went to a bar a couple weeks ago. We went to the Penn State Rutgers game. A friend who's a big Rutgers fan. And I ordered a tr I ordered a drink and it came in a big juice box, <laughs> like a big juice. I love bag. that too, dude. Novelty glasses are the best. Yeah. yeah, it was like I was like, all right, I guess Ooh. I can. Yeah, it was cool though. They got espresso martinis on the menu. I think I'll probably have to hit that. I would fuck Ooh, with espresso that. martini. That's classy. That's Anything number. Coffee? That's number two on my uh, on my drink list. I think I like yeah. it's Margs, espresso martinis, and then mules after that. Yeah, right, is BDG having a Christmas party? Because uh, that you just haven't told me about yet. <laughs> no, next year's all we will, but we won't have an office by by that time. Uh, this just popped in my head. You know who Max looks like? Luis Scola. You know who that was? You remember yeah, that basketball player? player for the Rockets? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. Max, you look like Luis Scola right now. Your yeah, hair is fucking insane right now. Yeah, that guy yeah, was what's a piece going of shit. on, man. Yeah, actually, animal, your look right now is like not ideal. I'm gonna get. What are you going up? for? You're like in the middle of like a couple different looks. I'm gonna do like a makeover before we go to the office. I'll get like a, I'll just like shave and get a haircut. That's what you consider a makeover. Yeah. <laughs> I'll you lose like, to, like 35 pounds, in. get some new outfits. We'll be good yeah. to go. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about this old horse. We won't. All right. Before we leave, though, let's get uh, predictions for this weekend. Who are the four that make the playoffs? I'm going to oh. be honest. All right. We'll go George, obviously. He's in. Okay. George is one. George, Larry. Larry in the two spot, you're saying? Yeah, George, okay. Larry. I don't really know what the how it works. That yeah, if, yeah, yeah. Like the if Joe loses, can he still get in? Yes, because you and him will have the same record, and it will come down to points. Here's the way I'm. Here's the way I'm going to look at it. I think Animal loses to Snacks, which I think bounces him out. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think I beat you, Steve. I agree. Okay. I mean, I, think I, I, beat I was you despite the forty point burger. I said it three times already. I was feeling great, and then when we just went through it, I don't feel great. I don't feel great. I agree. You're going to need a but, um, Josh Allen game. Otherwise, you're fucked. So I think that I would can't. put me, George, Larry, and if Snacks beats Animal, I don't know who's the fourth seed. Is it Joe? Is it you? Is it Joe or Steve? Yeah, but depending on points. Okay. Whoever has more points. Wow. Really cool, though. That's really cool. 
<laughs> well, we're really, gonna we're in we're really in for cool. we're in for it, bro. Yeah. So this will go live Saturday. We'll be doing the stream Sunday. One change. You've made a promise to BDG Nation that you'll be there, and if you're not there, you never have a chance to work for us ever in your life. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll be there after yeah. I go to church. That's fucking right, bitch. Hey!